The intestine is a hollow tubular organ with a variable diameter and flexible walls folded several times on itself. It represents the last part of the digestive system and its length is around 7 meters. In the first part of the intestine, called the small intestine, the digestion started from the mouth is completed, and thanks to the intestinal villi, numerous extra flexions that line the internal walls of the small intestine, most of the nutrients present in the food we eat are absorbed. The large intestine, on the other hand, has the task of absorbing water and electrolytes from the indigestible remains of food, as well as the vitamins produced by the intestinal microbiota, such as vitamin K and some vitamins of group B. From the waste material resulting from the of digestion and absorption of nutrients, the feces are formed, which will then be expelled from the body through the anus during defecation. Having a healthy and clean intestine helps to maintain the balance of our intestinal microbiota, that is that ecosystem present in our digestive system, in which over a trillion bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa coexist. Intestinal pathologies and incorrect lifestyle habits, such as smoking, alcohol abuse, sedentary lifestyle, and poor diet, can weigh down the intestine and damage the intestinal microbiota. But how do you cleanse your intestines naturally? Let's go see it. In the last video, however, which you can find by clicking here above, we saw what you need to do to keep your colon healthy. Dietary Fibers Dietary fibers are all those organic substances that the enzymes of our digestive system are unable to digest and therefore absorb as they resist the action of the digestive juices of the gastrointestinal tract. Dietary fibers are the main components of the cell wall of plants, and the foods that contain the most are fruit, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains, such as brown rice and oats, corn, and quinoa, not forgetting bread, pasta, and other products made with whole grains and flours. Among the vegetables richest in fiber, we find artichokes, aubergines, carrots, and cabbage, while among fruit we find apples, pears, raspberries, plums, and avocados. Dried fruit in shell are also an excellent source of fiber, especially almonds, pistachios, and walnuts. Experts recommend consuming at least 25 30 grams of fiber per day. The fibers act like a real brush as they clean the intestinal walls as they pass, promoting the elimination of unabsorbed food. Even if they are not absorbed by the intestine, dietary fibers help to increase and soften the fecal mass, consequently favoring intestinal transit and therefore the evacuation of feces. Not only that, the polysaccharides that make up most of the fiber are a precious nutrient for our intestinal microbiota and perform a prebiotic function that is capable of stimulating the growth of those bacteria present in the intestinal tract that have a beneficial effect on our body, ensuring thus a perfect balance of our intestinal bacterial flora. Drink more water. It doesn't take detox drinks or magical ingredients to cleanse your balls. Just drink enough mineral water every day. Several studies have shown that a greater consumption of water helps to regulate the intestine, to increase the speed of emptying of the stomach, and to favor intestinal transit. Imagine the walls of the intestine as a water slide in an amusement park. If there is not enough water to push you down, you will get stuck or have to go down the slide more slowly. This is what happens to stool in your intestines when you're dehydrated. This is because the body, not receiving enough water to function properly, tries to recover as much as possible by absorbing it from the feces, thus causing constipation. Stool becomes dry and hard, making it difficult to pass through the digestive tract and digestive processes begin to slow down. The amount of water to drink is quite variable from individual to individual as it depends on gender, age, body weight, type of physical activity, and work performed. The guidelines dictated by the Ministry of Health remind that in general you should drink at least 2 liters of water a day. The liquids taken help cleanse the intestines as they soften the stools and simultaneously increase their mass, thus facilitating their passage through the colon and their subsequent evacuation. As the Veronese Foundation recalls, the idea that there are areas in the intestine where toxic residues accumulate, which can be washed away with herbal enemas, lacks any scientific proof. 
These are typical remedies of the so-called detox diets, which have the sole purpose of selling you common ingredients at a high price and treatments not recognized by traditional medicine, which also hide some health risks. Laxatives Laxatives are drugs which, by stimulating intestinal peristalsis, facilitate the evacuation of feces more or less quickly. There are several types of laxatives, for example those that increase the volume of the fecal mass, those that soften and lubricate the feces, and those that draw water into the intestine, carrying out a sort of washing. Laxatives may seem like the fastest and most natural way to cleanse the intestines and the extreme ease with which they can be purchased in herbalist shop, pharmacy, and some supermarkets, all without a prescription. It causes some people make a improper or excessive use. The abuse of laxatives negatively affects the diversity of the intestinal microbiota, destroying in the long run some of the good bacteria that populate our digestive system. The result will be intestinal dysbiosis, that is a condition of imbalance in the composition and function of the intestinal bacterial flora, with an overgrowth of bad bacteria within the intestine. The abuse of these drugs can also lead to the onset of an addiction to laxatives, not for their ability to overcome the blood-brain barrier and act on the central nervous system, but for the desire that arises in those who use them to regulate their defecatory habits, especially if they also suffer from constipation. One of the consequences of laxative abuse is the onset of lazy bowel, a medical condition characterized by a slowing of intestinal transit, which in turn causes abdominal swelling, cramps, bloating, and constipation. Always talk to your doctor before taking any laxative. He will decide which type of laxative might be best suited to your medical condition. Hydrocolon therapy. The term hydrocolon therapy indicates a real washing of the intestine, which exploits the use of water to remove the waste substances that have accumulated between the walls of the digestive tract. The practice consists in introducing a small two-way cannula into the patient's rectum, where on one side purified fresh water is introduced, often enriched with herbs or enzymes, at constant temperature and pressure. On the other hand, the water is sucked up, carrying any intestinal waste products with it. The entire operation can be accompanied by a delicate manual massage on the abdomen in order to promote relaxation and the activation of intestinal peristalsis. Hydrocolon therapy is a technique that was already used by the ancient Egyptians, even if in a rudimentary form, while today it is generally used in the preparation of the intestine for radiological, endoscopic, and ultrasound investigations, such as colonoscopy. Hydrocolon therapy is also offered for commercial purposes, on the basis of the presumed need to help the intestine purify itself from the accumulation of waste and toxic substances. The Italian National Institute of Health recalls that in the absence of serious illnesses which require professional medical supervision, the intestine is perfectly capable of expelling food waste, above all if helped by a healthy and balanced diet with the right amount of vegetable fibers. To date, there is no scientific research that has demonstrated the beneficial correlation between frequent intestinal washings and an improvement in colon health. Also remember that clean does not mean healthy. On the contrary, cases have been reported in which colon hydrotherapy has damaged the intestinal mucosa, causing rectal perforation or the onset of potentially fatal infections. We have therefore seen that true intestinal cleansing begins with nutrition, in particular by increasing the daily intake of fibers and consuming the right amount of water. Correct intestinal function is the basis of a good quality of life.